I'll take this a step further and let's talk about lifecycle hooks. We have seen on a knit, this is generally the one that I use the most. Um, this is an interface. You, don't you do not necessarily have to implement the interface. It's recommended that you do. Um, you can just call ng on init without doing that. But again, you get additional IDE love when you do. And so you can see, for instance, you can see here that I've got this squiggly line under users. Oh, what does this say? If it would just sit still, it's saying, hey, you haven't implemented this interface. That's really handy. So ng on init. Let's go back and so now when this component has initialized, you can hook into it and do something. For every instance of that component, or is it? So that's a good question. That is a good question. So what would happen if, what if I had two users on here? You know what? <laughs> so obviously, I think the pro tip here is don't put alert dialogues in your ng on init. But this is important, especially if you need data that may or may not exist, then this is a really good place, well, the place to do that. Also recommend, you know, I think somebody mentioned earlier, one of the lessons they learned is do not put, or be careful about the logic that you put into your constructor because it may depend on things that is not available yet. And so this is where this goes. I have a list of um, specifically inputs uh, sticking an input on there that's not available in the constructor yeah. until the init files. Yeah. So again, this is only available in TypeScript when data is not immediately available in the constructor. Uh, ng on init is the one that I have generally used the most, but ng on destroy also really, really, really helpful. And I think the other ones are fairly fine grained, um, but there are use cases for them. But really, ng on init and ng on destroy are the big ones. ng on init being after ng on changes is pretty subtle. Yes. And I haven't actually encountered a case where that was a problem yet, but it is interesting because once we get into input outputs, there could be that window there where you're, ex you're expecting something from the input and it hasn't happened yet. And so just be aware that on changes, and we haven't talked about input output yet, but when those fire, then you get this event. So when you basically your parent component or you're actually broadcasting something up, you'll fire that lifecycle hook. So, yes? You said something interesting, something about the on and it. Hold on. It's 135, and I finally have said something interesting. Mark it. Yeah, boom. On the board, 135, Lucas said something interesting. Man, you guys are hard. I forgot <laughs> I was going to ask. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Uh, something about when you need to import the on and it, if you've got data not yet defined in your class? So occasionally, and I've seen this with input and output, that your component has been defined, but it hasn't been fully initialized. So it's, you, the page is rendering. And so let's say you have you know, a couple components. You know, you've got this hierarchy. Well, it has to pull data from the parent component, and you're feeding it in. So by the time, with, by the, time the constructor executes, that there's this period of time where the constructor has actually executed, but you do not have your basically your data that you need from potentially like inputs. 
um, or from your parent components. Like they're still arriving. And so Angular will render your component structure like top down. And so that's what I mean by I need to, for instance, pull something from a service and it's kind of asynchronous or something like that. Don't do that in the constructor. You want to do that. Because I've seen where you have like a data structure and a constructor or in a service. And <clears throat> within your, your constructor of your component, you're like, this data equals this service dot data, and it's not ready. And or you're trying to pull it from an input. So you want to put that into ng or on init generally. So on init fires after all that stuff is ready? Yep. Okay. So after it's been initialized, that's I believe okay. the most safe place to do that. Okay. Okay. Does Another that make question? sense? It does. Do all right. Makes sense. I just wasn't quite sure what you were saying. So now I am. I'll sign that too if you want. All right. Man, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm getting written testimonials. This is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking at the other components that are defined in the sample app, mm -hmm. simple app, whatever it is. And you're not importing <laughs> on it, but you are using it. It's broken. It's no? broken. Is it? Is it broken? No. Uh, probably wouldn't be running, I don't think. Well, it no, does I run. You run without importing on it. Uh, directives you don't need to import, I don't think. Uh, imports. Yeah, is, is, that, is this an uh, yeah. interface? Yeah. The interface. Implementation. No, so, uh, sure. so it gets just worth a pile of Yeah, so. Uh, the compiler should mourn. Yeah. Right, so just pull up like Tom's yeah, yeah, So I think yeah. you're right. This is, I think, yeah. this is okay. the case yeah. where I wrote this on like alpha one, and I think they were being, you didn't have to. And then I think they broke it out somewhere between alpha one and nine, and I think it's still working. But if I were doing this now, then I would make it a point. So, you know, okay. since you've pointed this out, like I will go back and explicitly like import these things in. There may be, hold on, let me just see, just to cover my bases. No, because sometimes I think it, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I would explicitly like import this. Okay. Now. So explicitly do it. Yeah, right. I would explicitly do that even to the point of implementing the interface. So. I get you. Yeah, I mean this is you know beta sure. software, so there is a margin of like I don't know why this works or it was working. I don't know why it's not anymore. Yeah, yeah. that's totally legit. I just want to make sure what yeah. I should do. <laughs> so good call, like. Yeah.